Hello everybody, Princess McGray here, and we're back at Universal Studios Orlando for another adventure that you guys sent us on. The Universal Orlando Vegan Group has let us know that there is new vegan options available here at Universal Studios, and we got off off our lazy bums and came to the parks to try it. More specifically, in the Wizarding World, because yeah. they have had a sincere lack of vegan options we have thrown so much Mu shade. Much shade about them not having any proper vegan options and they actually have some on the menu. So Real we're gonna ones. go into Wiki Cauldron and hopefully we don't leak an excitement. Be sure to manage your mischief. You heard the girl. Wait, don't manage anything. You be as mischievous as you want to be. This is 2022. Got no time to be reducing your mischief. This is true, actually. He's right, he's right. Don't listen to JK Rowling quotes. <laughs> Who wants to listen to JK Rowling quotes anyway? Absolutely nobody. Off we go. stopped at Finnegan's and I got me a Jameson and Ginger. She gotta have better drinking options in the Wizarding World. Water is the best you can really get unless you want like fire whiskey or beer. Three out of five Jamesons. Nice, tall, cold, black and tan because another one of my list of uh, many weaknesses. Irish beers, mixtures. I'm here for that. Nice, tasty, actual beer. Three and a half out of five bucks. I love that we have this salad here that is like a memory of our last time that we ate here. We know thanks to uh, our wiki that this is not a vegan bread, but we have a salad. And now they have a vinaigrette that you can eat with the salad, so Yay for actually having dressing. That's cool. I'm gonna start with that, I suppose. I'm just gonna get, um, well, it's like a whole tomato, so I suppose what I'll do is I'll take a piece of the tomato. With some of this spinach and dip it in the dressing because I'm a dipper and not a um, pourer. And cheers. It's better than a dry salad, but it's super heavy on the oregano. I'm not that super into oregano, so. The salad is like a one and a half out of five salads. Not my jam. And that's okay. The real reason we are here is for these beef tips in this stew. I'm super excited for this. I'm just gonna drench it. I'm gonna be a nice glutton here and take like a, a huge bite. Wow. That tastes like a super creamy Campbell's soup style vegan beef situation. I'm here for this. This is really, really good. From like going to what we had before to this, this is a vast improvement. This is like a four and a half out of five Harry Potters. And the gravy just brings it all together so beautifully. I love this. If it wasn't for the salad, this would be a 5 out of 5. If you just ate like this by itself, this is a win. This is a really good dish. I cannot wait to inhale this. 
might put a little bit of salt and pepper just because like I like a little bit more seasonings, but it's good. It's really good. You did it. I'll admit you added plant-based items to the menu. It's one of my huge hates of coming to Wizarding World is that for the princess the food was terrible, so I never wanted to eat here. I only did it because you guys asked, and now I'm back because, well, you guys asked. Uh, so it's Irish stew. It looks like an Irish stew. That little fake cast iron plastic skillet here. Nice like tomatoes. You have some carrots in here, and it looks uh, stew-ish. Let's uh, not stub our toe on this one. Flavor of the actual stewed dancing carrots is amazing. Um, you can tell that the uh, beef tins, quote unquote, are plant based, but it's not like a heavy like plant based taste because the seasoning sort of makes all that in. It doesn't exactly soak everything up like a meat would. Like it definitely doesn't taste like the beef tins were cooked in the stew. It tastes like they were added after, but it's still got a really good flavor to it. Just based off that, this is definitely something that I would eat. Even on some of the hotter days, it's always usually pretty cold here and here, but I'd give this a four to five claws. All the flavors, they work. I said that if you got good plant based items, I would give credit where credit is due. And you did it. And you gave us two, no less. As for this sad looking salad, I'm not even gonna bother with that tomato. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip to the princess wood. Not salt with that It's not great. And again, the salad, just like last time, tastes unwashed. It tastes like dirt. It's a two out of five claws on the salad. I'll steal the bread too. It's not plant based, but it's, it's a basic dinner roll. It's a bit overly dense, I feel, but I'm not mad at it. Two and a half out of five minutes. Here we have this pasty. Now, if you watched our recent pasty video, of the new one that just landed at IOA, this is like five times bigger than that one. This is like the size of my arm. Now, it comes with this beet tomato mixture that we've had in the past. I did not like this. I'm not gonna try this. You can watch our last video for that. And uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get pasty up in here. There's some pasties up in here. Let's see how thick you is. Not too shabby, I want to say. I really feel like one half of these is like equivalent to two pasties from Iowa. Mm. Still really delicious. You got Beyond Crumbles, peas, carrots, mushrooms, some sauce. The pastry is so good. The meat just tastes really artificial. Of course, it's going to. You have to really like those Beyond Crumbles to be into this, but I'm obsessed with it because I love the pastry. It is really good. I'm gonna give this a four out of five pastries, and I think like this is worth it considering how large it is. Um, platter is like $16, $17 without a discount. And the small little one at Iowa was $10, so without a discount. This is definitely a better value for your money. Since you guys are already here, I'm not going to make you go to our old video, but you should still go watch that one to see how much I hated, 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 hated the option they had before. But I'm going to go ahead and try this beet salad for you. It's even better presented than it was last time. Last time it was just clumped on a plate like somebody ice cream scooped this stuff out for you. I 
If you don't like the earthy taste of beets, this isn't gonna change your mind. It's slightly tangy, but it does taste like that real earthy flavor. It's healthy-ish, but it's not gonna win any awards. Give it two and a half out of five claws. So return of the shepherd's pasty pie. I like that it's nice and filled. You know, like skipping them, you like half a pasty full of filling with those uh, meatless crumbles, peas and carrots. Uh, I thought this was an okay thing the last time. I thought it was a bit small. This size, even I can't say no to this thing. This stuff to me feels like a good park day snack. Now, this is still a pretty new item. So I feel like I'm gonna give them some leeway in like training. You can definitely tell these are Beyond Crumbles. That's one of those flavors you cannot mistake. Beyond is, if anything, extremely consistent in its flavor. But they could definitely use a bit more seasoning to sort of mix well with the rest of the pasty pie because that's definitely a distinct flavor from the rest of the filling in here. But the, uh, the, the pie itself, the flaky crust and everything else is immaculate. And I definitely think you won't regret this game's plant based option. And even if you're immediately like myself, you want something light but still filling, I think it still qualifies. Four out of five plus. Lastly, we have the fruit, the little wedgies. We got mustard, we got HP, we got ketchup, we got malt. I'm just gonna have it by itself. Better than a typical fryer. I love me some wedge. Great little potato taste to it. I just wish there was more. This is a very tiny amount. This is like half a handful amount. Overall, I want to give the pastry dish a four out of five wizards. It is really good, and I, I could not really tell you which one of these new vegan options is better than the other because they're both really effing amazing. Some sad looking wedges. Cold, sad looking wedges. They're at least a little crisp. But the helping is sad. And even the cut themselves is like, why did you even bother? Two and a half out of five plus. Well, here we have a, uh, a stew. There's one of the few things in the menu that I haven't had, but uh, I was definitely not expecting it in a bread bowl, but I suppose that I could have at least read um, the menu when I ordered it, but they give you the option of fry, or, or fries or a salad. I chose a salad. We can eat something a little bit healthier. Uh, it's, it's a big salad. Or bigger than most of the ones you get on the plate, but... This one's just a bunch of greens and then that same like quarter slice of tomato. Now, I got Italian dressing because I actually have it. Um, I believe it looks vegan. Everything that's in it. Maybe the caramel coloring, I'm not sure about that. But. All the ingredients look okay. I'll take a picture of it later, let you guys decide. Go ahead and pour that out here because I can't really dunk this. It's definitely a creamy looking Italian, so maybe that's it. Even though it says light Italian. Go ahead and get that. Use this knife in here to cut this tomato because it is massive. I really don't like the silverware set up here at Leaky Cauldron. This is. Hella inconvenient. There we go. More than I wanted in a bite, but I'm a bear, which is unhinged the jaw.
there's decent dressing. It does help the salad a little bit. Still sort of that unwashed taste in there. But it'll do as a side. Two and a half out of five plus. Now for this stew. And apparently I'm gonna eat with a fork. It's thick enough. There really shouldn't be any problems. And this is a beef, lamb, and Guinness stew. I don't think I've ever had that mixture in a stew before. Uh, but I am intrigued. Better be flavorful. We're gonna have problems. I'm gonna say it. This is probably slightly rude. But I, it feels like you just fed me canned soup in a bread bowl. Now this is quick service, so I suppose I shouldn't expect much. But it definitely tastes like canned soup in a bread bowl. Uh, like Campbell's chunky soup in a bread bowl. The flavor's okay. It's not anything that's going to make you hop on a room and start flying around a room, but it's an okay meal. Hearty enough, warm enough, and all this flavor will soak into the bread afterwards. So I don't suppose you can't really go wrong, but I'm not gonna run back here for this. It's average. Two and a half out of five plus. Lee Cauldron has upped their game, I'm not gonna lie. It's magically delicious. I am I'm not gonna take back all the shade that I threw, but you did a good job. Get a thumbs up from the bear. I loved both of the vegan options way more than I expected to. I expected the pasty pie to be as tiny as the one before. It was like four times bigger. I love the pastry. I ate like every single little piece of crumb of pastry I could possibly get my hands on. It was good. The beef tips were good. It reminded me of Whispering Canyon. I'm here for it. Um, thank you, whomever in the universal god not gods, but Chefs. executives allowed uh, vegan options. We appreciate being thought of finally. Now, bring the vegan butter beer to the U.S. Please, thank you. We want to know after what you've seen, would these options convince you to come as a vegan to eat a vegan culture? And I want to know from my fellow meat eaters what you guys think of this place because eh, sometimes. But let us know in the comments if there's anywhere else you'd like to see us go. That's also the only place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will never come back to the Wizarding World ever again. He's done. He's done. I really don't know when these outros became all the princess line. That's exactly what it is. Bear, it's, it's, this is a channel of all the things that Bear refuses to do. When have I ever refused to do anything? You heard me. More lies. But you heard the girl. See? <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras! Happy Mardi Gras! Oh, thank you, thank you.